How to add an existing project to GitHub Visual Studio. In Visual Studio, you will encounter from time to time the problem that you add an existing project and when you save it on GitHub, it's no longer there. That's a problem we will solve in this video. Or you might want to remove files from your Git repo. In this GitHub tutorial, you will learn more about Visual Studio and GitHub. So, when you create a project in Visual Studio, you will be able to see this area right here. In this solution file, we have multiple projects. Note, it is possible for a project to be in the solution but not be saved in the Git, in the Git repo. To avoid this common mistake, the easiest way to verify is to go and make some changes in your app. I went ahead and already write, wrote this uh, fake properties just to trigger the Git algorithm to know that there's been changes in the document. So now it will tell me there's changes. Do you want to save? Commit equals save. That means that we're saving stuff in our local Git, which will be then when we press this button, push to our Git copy in the cloud and they will be saved in the cloud so basically we have the changes that we just made here in our class 1 file and pay attention to this guys this is exactly where our git repo is at this file is very important everything you put inside that file is going to be saved on github Everything you don't put on that file, which I mentioned earlier, you might be able to add projects here in your solution, but they're not in the right file. And to verify that, you can go here, and if there's a change, you will be able to see the exact file where the stuff is being saved on Git. And that's the file where you want to put your stuff so it gets saved on the cloud so in order to add stuff into that file sometimes this way is possible it, you can add stuff you can add files and existing projects using this way another way of doing it is actually going here into open folder in file explorer and when you go into this part you will see the actual files of your projects and your solution and here are the git code files that are telling you where exactly is the git repository file and remember everything that's inside that file will be saved everything that's outside will not be saved on github and you will lose it or other people won't be able to see it so in order to fix this problem you have to verify going over here this is going to give you the exact place where your file is at. And in order to get this, all you have to do is make a change in your app. And if it's registered, it means that's inside the Git repo file and it will be saved on Git. When you do your pull and your push, it will be saved. And of course, you have to commit the changes in order for it to actually be saved on GitHub. So sometimes you might have to do something like this you might have to go here in the file explorer and you might have to go inside here and check it out and see like okay so maybe my files aren't in there but when you add a new project the project will be able to like you will get this you will get this um screen that's gonna help you understand where exactly is your file your git repo file which is very important because that screen is the one that's gonna tell you when you create a new project where exactly is your git repo file but if you already made the project and you don't have that screen because it's not available like in my case you can still find it here. You can always just trigger a change, write something in your app, 
and it will appear. Let's verify that. Let's go here. Here's uh, another class library, and let's let's rename this class. It's called base class. Let's uh, rename it to base. Okay, and now let's uh, trigger some changes here. Okay, and another random property. Okay, so we triggered some changes in the base class. Now let's see if it's being saved. Yes, as you guys can see, that is inside the Git repo. If you make a change and it's not there, you have to go over here. And if you can't find any changes here, it means that whatever you're doing it's outside the git repo file and that's bad so you have to make changes in one of these projects and verify and as soon as it's in here and you see it in git changes then you go you drill down to that exact location and when you get there you add the projects to your file you add the projects you want to use you add all those projects you want to use and then you go ahead and do it in the Solution Explorer after they're inside and you will know they're inside because you will see them here they will appear over here on this side so after you add them in the file if you not if you need to see them you will need to see them in Visual Studio so in order to be able to see them in Visual Studio you have to right click here and add those projects existing or new projects you will have to add them manually and now you will be able to see them and make changes to them and use them in Visual Studio the normal way. So I hope this tutorial was useful. Have a great day guys. Share, like and subscribe and if you guys want to learn more about making business apps that make money and are, are successful and that actually can make you a millionaire and, and change the world and all that kind of stuff, well please like, share and subscribe to my channel.